Hello, I'm Diana Keo, Editor-in-Chief of Sherwick.com. Today we're chatting with Dr. Gerald Dros, who is an Atlanta-based couples and sex therapist. And we're talking to Dr. Dros about the topic of sex. Dr. Dros has agreed to take questions that have come in from our members over the internet. Dr. Dros, the first question is from Facebook. What does it say about a relationship, if anything, when a woman can't simply say no instead of making up some excuse about not having sex? Well, it says a lot about a relationship. Uh, in fact, uh, a lot of the important things that happen in relationships come from being honest. And if a person can't say no in a relationship, they're, they're saying they can't be honest about their desire, their, uh, where they're, you know, who they are. And uh, in fact, a lot of sexual energy comes from being able to feel like you can be who you are and be honest. And even within the sexual experience, honesty uh, sort of leads to better sex. The stereotype is that men are always wanting it and women not so much. Is that a fair assessment? That's probably traditionally been more the case than um, I think it is now, but I think overall that's probably traditionally true. What I have seen in the last 10 years is a change in that. Uh, in the last 10 years, particularly with 20-something, 30-something couples, my experience has been a lot of them come in with the woman complaining that the man is not sexual enough and not interested in her sexually as much as she expects and that she's very frustrated about it. And I think it has something to do with the changing in roles, uh, changing in the power in relationships. These are mostly women that are working and are powerful in their jobs. If that's the case, is this a good thing for relationships or not? I'm not sure it's a good thing. I think it's a, it's a change that says something about uh, sexuality in general and our culture in specific. I think that it, it, it does introduce some flexibility from the old model uh, where women were sort of holding their desire back and men were uh, expressing it all the time. Um, but it also, the, the, but the problem is uh, as entrenched many times as the problem was, uh, regardless of who it is that's not wanting sex as much, that person feels frustrated by the other's desire, and the person who is feeling desire and it's not being um, uh, answered or, or appreciated feels frustrated and doesn't matter whether it's a man or a woman, uh, it's very frustrating for him and so I don't know that it solved anything, but it, uh, it changes some of the ways we think about desire and sexuality and gender. This woman posed the following question. Making love is such a routine for my husband and I and usually lasts only 10 minutes. And that oftentimes when I know he's feeling amorous, I pretend I'm asleep because it's just not worth the effort. Do you have any advice for us? If you're avoiding sex, you're actually creating a new problem or, or exacerbating an old problem. And uh, But the, the first question is, why wouldn't you do something together to change the routine, to, to make it more um, of a sexual experience that you both can enjoy? Dr. Dros, thank you so much for joining us here on ShareWick.com. This has been really helpful information. If you'd like more information about sex and more, please go to our website at www.sharewick.com.